بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my second secondary students welcome to a new lesson today which is 4A listening speaking and writing on page 58 and 59 please open your books to follow me as usual we start with what we will learn today First one, to discuss problems, to ask for and give advice using some words and expressions relevant to solving problems, to prepare students for writing tasks, to provide students with a concise plan for writing a letter giving advice. A, we have here, discuss. Which problems or issues do you usually discuss with your family or friends? For me, it depends. I discuss school-related uh, problems with my friends, usually, and I discuss the other issues with my parents. Question number two. How do you solve problems which arise which start happening. How? For me, I think of all the possible solutions, then I choose or pick one that I think is the best to end this problem. What about you? Think how you solve your problems. Let's move to B. You will hear a telephone conversation between a teenage boy, teenage boy, uh, teenager between 13 to 18 years old. Andy, his name is Andy, and his uncle David. What is Andy's main problem? Maybe you will hear there are a lot of problems. Just you have to tell us which, what is Andy's main problem. Before we play the audio, look here, we have choices here, A, B, C, and D. We want to choose one of them. A, he doesn't like London and wants to move to Miami. B, he can't find ways to make friends, to start a new uh, friendship. C, he is having difficulty adapting, used to a new situation, a new life. D, his parents don't let him go out. I will play the audio. Please listen and decide which one is Andy's main problem. 4A, listening and speaking. Listening, B, you will hear a telephone conversation between a teenage boy, Andy, and his uncle, David. What is Andy's main problem? Hi, Andy. How are you? How is it going in London? Hello, Uncle David. Well, OK, I suppose. How are things in Miami? I'm enjoying it a lot, and I love my new job. Why don't you come and spend the holidays with me? I'd love to. It would do me a lot of good, actually. Things aren't going very well for me here, you know. What do you mean? Well, I'm in a new school, I have no friends, and I'm constantly having arguments with my parents. We just can't seem to get along. I feel so lonely here. Oh, Andy, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were so unhappy. Listen, of course it was going to be difficult moving to a new city. It's like you are starting over again. That's how it was for me when I first came to Miami. I didn't know anyone here. I was all by myself. It took some time, but through my work and joining a jogging club, I've made some really good friends. You just need to give it some time. How much time? I've been here three months. That's nothing. It took me a year to settle into life in Miami. Now, what efforts are you making to meet new people? Well, none, actually. You were on the netball team at your old school. There must be a team in your school. Why don't you join it? I guess I could. That's how you'll meet people with similar interests to you. 
There must be lots of after-school activities and societies that you can join. You like reading. Why not join a book club? That sounds interesting. I bet there will be loads of book clubs in London. Go to your local library and ask. OK, I'll do that. But what about my parents? What am I going to do about them? Well, what do you argue about? Everything. <laughs> Listen, your parents care about you. They're just trying to do what they think is best. Try to stay calm when you talk to them. And try to explain your opinion to them clearly. You should also suggest a compromise sometimes. This will show them that you are thinking things through better and taking their feelings into consideration. Oh, thank you, Uncle David. I don't know what I'd do without you. I feel much better after talking to you. Okay, so what is Andy's main problem here? After we hear the conversation, is it A, he doesn't like London, or he can't find ways to make friends, or he, have, uh, he has difficulty adapting, or his parents don't let him go? What's the main, the main, the big problem that he has? Actually, it is C, he is having difficulty adapting to a new situation. Let's move to C. Listen to the conversation again and decide if the statements below are true or false. Okay, let's do it here together. David invites Andy to visit him in Miami. Did you hear something about invites him until uh, David told uh, Andy to come? How are you things in Miami? Why don't you come and spend the holidays with me? So here this is invitation from David. Is it a true or false? Yes, it is true. Excellent. Two, Andy argues with his friends at school. Argues, disagree with his friends. I have no friends. I am not constantly having arguments with my parents. So what about this sentence? It is excellent. It is false. Three, David suggested that Andy should join a jogging club. Uh, jogging means slow run. So, true or false? That's how it's for me with, I first came to Miami. I didn't know anyone here. I was all by myself. It took some time, but through my work and jo joining a jogging club, I've made some really good friends. So, suggest... David suggests the Andy. Is it true or false? No, just he talking about himself here. Four, Andy would like to join a book club. You like reading? Why not join a book club? That sounds interesting. So here it is. True, excellent. Five, Andy and his parents disagree about many things. Andy and his parents disagree. Yes, excellent. We heard about that, so it is true. David advises, this is the verb, David advises Andy to show his parents that he respects, admires their opinion. David advises, yes, actually, we heard that at the end of the conversation, so it is true. Okay, let's move to the second part here. We have a speaking. Look at two pictures. We have picture A and picture B. Picture A, we can see two men or two brothers or, or two flat mates uh, argue about here, about household chores. Who will, uh, for example, wash the dishes, who will clean and picture B, we can see here uh, a boy, he is unhappy, he feeling uh, sad. Uh, maybe he moved to a new town and has no friends. So here we have to take turns to be student A and student B. Ask for and give advice using the words, phrases in the boxes. We have here words and we have a phrases here student a 
Look at the picture and imagine, imagine, take a picture in your mind. And uh, if you were in his shoes, you have the problem, explain it to student B and ask for advice. You have to explain the problem. What can you see here? And ask for advice. What about student B? Listen to student B's problems. You have to listen to student A problems and give him or her advice. You can use these words and phrases. Household chores, share, responsibility, take turns, duty, alone, lonely. This is the adjective, alone, lonely. And we have uh, or this adverb isolated make friends these are words what about the phrases here i've got a problem with i need your advice because i don't know what to do about let's do a together here let's do it a i've got a problem and i need your advice i feel that my flatmate doesn't do his share of the household chores. I've told him that we should share responsibility for the chores and take turns to do the washing up and other things. But he refuses to listen and never does anything around the flat. What do you think I should do? This is a explain the problem and ask for advice let's listen here to student b give him or her advice i think you should discuss the problem with your flatmate again and calmly explain it that it is unfair for you to do all the chores it would be good idea to come up with a chore schedule where each one note down the chores he prefers to do and agree to take turns doing housework you both hate. This is an advice for student A. You can do here for picture B. You can use these phrases and these words. Now we have here writing a letter giving advice. What's a letter giving advice? It is when you write your opinion for your friends or for anybody that need advice, write your opinion about what someone should do, then send it to her or to him. This is giving advice. Look at this question. Why do you think some people would write to a magazine it's similar uh, newspaper, problem page. Why some people write and send it to magazine? What do you think? For me, I think uh, maybe they need an expert's opinion or an expert's advice. Or they want to write a piece of advice to others. They want to help others. Let's move to B. Read the letter below. Which a boy wrote to a magazine problem page? What advice would you give him? We have here uh, a letter from Guilty in Guildford. This is a city in UK. And we have here write to Stephen. Let's read together here. Dear Stephen, I am feeling really upset, unhappy, because I had fight with my best friend. I argue with my friend. We have friends since primary school, from since a uh, time ago, and we are rarely apart. We almost always together. I would say we are more like brothers. We both want to do the same course at the university, the same study at the university. And because we want to stay together, we applied, we write a request to the same university in London. However, I was accepted for the course there. And he has been rejected. This is the opposite. Rejected, opposite of accepted. 
So I was accepted and my friend has been rejected. I really want to do the course, but I feel really guilty about it. Guilty, this is the emotion when you've done something wrong, you feel guilty. Even or even ever since he received his rejection letter, since he received his rejection letter, he has been really depressed, sad. He is constantly picking fights with me over a little things. He is arguing with me with uh, very tiny things. And now he says he feels betrayed. What about this? He uh, want to, d he is disloyal to me because I've accepted the offer. Please, can you help me? Guilty in Guilford. This is Stephen Problem. What do you think here? What advice would you give to Stephen before we start read? Okay, actually, uh, for me, I will talk to him and make him understand that the fact that he was not accepted is not your fault. Try to make him believe in himself and apply to another universities as well. You can find another course for you, for your friend. Okay, now let's move here to uh, Stephen. We have here, Stephen replied to the guilty in Guilford. Now read the advice given to the boy and compare it to the advice you would give him. Do you think Stephen's advice is helpful? Why and why not? We already did our advice. We have to read this and we want to compare it to Stephen's advice. Actually, Stephen here is an expert for giving advice. Dear Guilty in Guilford, I am sorry to hear that. You are having so much trouble with your friend. It sounds, it seems like he is very disappointed, unhappy, and has lost confidence in himself. He is not long believe in himself because he was rejected by the university. I think it is also possible that he feels jealous of your success. He is jealous when you, he, uh, he is unhappy because he wish that have the thing that you have now, that you are accepted. First of all, decision concerning your future career job can't be based on your friends. This is one of the most important decisions in, of your life. You have to do what is best for you. If you want to do the course, and you, you shouldn't feel guilty about it. Don't feel guilty, because this is your future. Since your friend probably feels a bit jealous of you, you will have to talk to him about it. If you want to boost his confidence by telling him there are another or other universities he can apply to. You should assure, you should tell him that you will always be friends no matter how far away from each other you are. I hope I've been able to give you some ideas on how to solve this problem. Good luck, Stephen. So we think here Stephen is an expert for uh, giving advice. What do you think here? Do you think Stephen's advice is helpful? Yes, I think the advice given is sound and helpful. Stephen seems to understand the problem and the advice he gives may help the boys get over the problem and be friends as they uh, usual. Okay, we have here C, let's move to D. When you are writing a letter giving advice, follow the outline. We uh, saw here 
a letter from Guilty in Guilford and the reply from uh, Stephen. We want to write a letter giving advice. Someone will ask you for advice and then your letter should be giving advice. Follow the outline. We have here greeting. Use the person's first name. This is formal. This is, sorry, this is informal letter. So you use the person's first name. Opening paragraph, refer to the problem and say why you are writing. This is the opening. Then we have main part. It could be one or two paragraphs. Give your advice and make suggestions. Closing paragraph, make a final comment. Then we have signing off, use a signature, ending, and your first name below. Because it is informal, you have to write your first name. This is the problem here. We have here Victor. Write his problem and ask for advice. You have to reply and write a letter for give him an advice. Dear Ray, I have a problem and I want your advice. I am having trouble with my cousin. We are studying at the same university and we share a flat. We live in the same flat. The problem is that he keeps on inviting loads of his friends, many, many of his friends over the flat and they make a lot of noise. This is here. We have greeting, dear. Then we have the opening. Then we will start with the main part. I've been trying to study for my exams and it is almost impossible for me to concentrate, to focus. I've been going to the library to get some peace and quiet. But when I get back, his friends are still there. Last week, the landlord, uh, the owner of the flat, come around the co to complain because we are uh, annoyed. I had to open the door because my cousin and his friends were making so much noise, they couldn't hear the door bell. The landlord told me that the neighbors were very annoyed, also the neighbors, and he said that if the noise continued, he would have to inform our parents about the problem. Of course, I told my cousin about this, but the next day everything was the same. What do you think I should do? I'd be really grateful, thankful for your advice. Best wishes we have here, the closing paragraph, and we have signature best wishes, Victor. So we have to, using this tip, address a person you are writing in friendly way because it is informal letter. Make various different suggestions to help him to solve his problem. Use appropriate expressions that given. We can uh, go to page 83. You can see the phrases and the words given. This is a letter giving advice. You have to write a greeting. We have here main parts and we have a signature. You can use these expressions, phrases, greetings, opening paragraph, uh, main part, closing paragraph, and signature endings. Okay, let's do this together now. We have a letter giving advice. Brainstorm ideas for your letter. We have a greeting. Use an appropriate informal greeting. We said, dear Victor, Opening paragraph, in few words, what is a problem you are asked to give advice on? What is Victor's main problem? Victor's cousin is irresponsible, is not responsible and ignorant. Then we have the main part. The first one, what should Victor do concerning the consequences of the problem? We can say Victor has the right to feel comfortable in his flat and be able to get some peace and quiet to study. This problem affects his fu future and he mustn't let anyone distract him when he is studying. 
the, the second paragraph, what should Victor do also here with neighbors, with uh, the landlord? He should sit with his cousin and talk some sense into him, make him realize that what he's doing is ruining everybody's future. As far as the neighbors and the landlord are concerned, he should apologize to them and promise, uh, and promise them that this will never happen again. We have here, the, uh, this is the closing paragraph. And we have here expressing your hope. And we have the, fi the last thing is signing off. So we can see here the whole uh, letter to giving advice to Victor. You can see, you can do the same. We have here greeting, the introducing paragraph. We have here main parts, closing paragraph, and the last one we have the signature. For more information and lessons, you can visit any website and Twitter account. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.